suppose we have a triangle, one of its x circles here, and its in circle here. Suppose this is the tangency point of the in circle and this side, and this is the tangency point of the x circle and this side. This is the diametrically opposite point to this one in this in circle, which means that this here is a diameter of the in circle. We need to prove that this point, this point, and this point lie on a straight line. The first thing we notice is that since the center is here, we know that this equals this. And we know that this angle is 90 degrees, since this is a tangent line, and this line connects the tangency point with the center of the circle. Now I'm constructing this to be the tangent line to the small circle at this point. Then this here would also be 90 degrees. And so this line is parallel to this line. Now notice that for this triangle, this is its x circle. And now do you notice how this construction, a triangle, and its x circle, is surprisingly similar to this construction, a triangle, and its x circle. Actually, one is the scaled version of the other. So this triangle with its x circle is a scaled version of this triangle with its x circle here. What I mean is that there exists a homotopy that ascends this triangle to this triangle, of course, because of the parallel lines, this line is parallel to this line. And under the same homotopy, this circle would transform into its scaled version this circle. And therefore, the tangency point here of the circle and this line would transform into the tangency point here of this circle and this line. And so this point and this point are images of homotopy under this center, which means that this point, this point, and this point must lie on the same line. Because if we scale the whole picture with respect to this center, and this point goes to this point, then of course the three points would be collinear, or in other words, would lie on a straight line. Another way to think about it is that in this triangle, this segment connects this vertex and the tangency point of the x circle with this side, and in this triangle, which is similar, this is the corresponding line that connects this vertex of the triangle with this tangency point of the x circle with this side. And therefore, this line in the small triangle and this line in the large triangle are corresponding lines in similar triangles. And corresponding lines in similar triangles means that the angles that they make is equal, which means that this angle in the small triangle equals this angle in the large triangle. And the two angles equal at this point means that this point, this point, and this point lie on the straight line. This is the optional problem. We have a triangle, it's in circle, it's in center here, and it's x circle that touches this side at this point. This is its altitude, and this is the midpoint of the altitude. We need to prove that this point, the in center, and this midpoint lie on a straight line. And here's the solution. We know that if we take this tangency point, and we take its diametrically opposite point here, then this point, this point, and this point lie on a straight line. And now we just need to apply Steiner's theorem for this trapezoid here, in which this intersects this here, and therefore the midpoint of one of its bases and the midpoint of the other base here and here, lie on a straight line with this intersection point. 